everyone, this is Natasha. I wanted to share with you what I picked up at Christmas Tree Shops on well, last Friday. I've been so busy that I've neglected to do video and there are some really cool things that I picked up that I thought if those of you who have a Christmas tree shop around might want to check out. Um, so I'm just going to get started. I will do a separate video of this particular item. It's an agenda from um, Ayoro Chic and it was $5.99 and it has this like stylized ginkgo leaves which I really really like. So it's a um, perpetual one, so you fill in your own date. It's a three ring binder instead of uh, six or seven, and I believe it's just about A5 size, size. So I will do a separate review of that specifically because I know that that'll be a popular item. I picked up a couple of things for um, Halloween, a really versatile cookie cutter. It was a dollar ninety-nine from Wilton, marked down, and then in the Christmas or in the Christmas, Halloween, Halloween. Uh, these are little memo pads. They're so cute. I just open it up so you could see it. Well, that I was going to pull, but I'll probably pull off a finger. So uh, there you go. Always safer to use the right tools. So it's in this little mesh bag, and I think it was a dollar, a dollar. So there you go, I'll throw that out. Little notepads. Skeletor, kitty, and two kitty, two of each. Two kitties, oh, are they stuck together? Yeah. Two skeletons, two kitties, and two pumpkins. And I'll share this with friends. And then this, I thought, was just too darn cute. They're little tiny stamps. And again, this was a dollar. And there are six. I think they're self-inking. It's a little skeleton. Oh, I think one opened up. Hold on, let me see if I can find the cap. I don't want to touch it to get the ink over them. Oh, I think they're all little skeletons. Oh, how cute! I could share these with lots of my friends. Let's see if there's you have a little notepad. Why is it you don't have paper when you need it? Well, you get the idea. So they're all little skeletons. So I got two container, two packages of those. Are they all skeletons? They must be. Yeah, they're all little skeletons, but they're cute. So I have um, 12 to share with friends. And then I saw um, they also had a clearance aisle, which had a lot of junk, like pure trash. They should have just trashed the items open. There was like a fraction of the items left. But they did have this, which is I thought was really cute and clever. It's a groom and bride passports, passport covers. So they were marked down from $4.99 to $2.99. And they had a lot of them, but it's the only one that was closed. So I'm kind of, I mean, this would make a really nice, um, you know, a, a gift for, just a little nifty gifty for a bride. So that was cute. I got that. And then I picked up two boxes of this. It's uh, Gartner Invitation Kits. As you see, they were marked down from $9.99 to $3.99. And I picked up two that were still closed. They had several others, one of which I really, really wanted. It was all black motif, so it had black envelopes, but it was trash. The box was ripped, stuff was all over the um, the aisle. I just, and I was, I shopped in um, eight minutes because the store was closing. <laughs> so I did like power shopping. <laughs> I knew specifically what I wanted to go get. Um, which I will share with you in a minute, but then I walked through the uh, clearance aisle. So these are still sealed and it includes invitations, uh, replies, really pretty ribbons and envelopes. So can't go wrong with that. For four dollars, I even if it, you know it's a cost of 25 envelopes. So I got two boxes of those. I'm just put this on the floor so I can have more room. And then from there, uh, food aisle, I picked up uh, some more of my Darjeeling tea, which I love. It's only $2.19 there. And a bag of pretzel crisps, which I love to have as snacks. 
they're zero fat. And I did pick up two of the following, one of which never survived to get to the house. So these are Nutella to go. They have little uh, slightly sweet breadsticks on one side and Nutella dip on the other. And the Nutella dip, it doesn't go all the way down. It goes about here so you don't, so your sticks don't get lost. When they were packed, they were packed along in the same bag with one of these and the uh, letters from the metal stands poked through and ruined one of them. So this one's going to my hubby tomorrow for work. Then I picked up these um, little stands. It says live, laugh, and love. And they were in the clearance aisle. They were originally $1.49 and they are in uh, black um, matte finish. They were 75 cents each. So I picked these three up because you can also hang them. So I'm thinking I might use this as a little display in the living room. I have a, a wall that will fit all three of them in a row nicely and then I can swap out pictures because it's a nice uh, depth. So that was 75 cents each. And then from the cosmetic area, I picked up this pack of aloe vera cleansing tissues. And boy am I glad I did that. Let me just lower the camera and I'll show you something. And if you follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, you will have already seen this. I, I, I was a complete dork and I grabbed a pot that just came out of the oven by the handle and I grabbed one of these and wrapped it around my fingers where I grabbed it. I missed one spot right here and that's where the blister formed. The rest of my hand is perfectly fine. So the aloe vera uh, really helped with that burn. I did run under cold water immediately, but and these are also really nice to kind of keep in your car. Um, but I'm gonna use them up. They were 30 and they were $1.29, so I did like these a lot. And they're from um, Appel, E-P-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So they just open up like this and reseal. So that was a savior. And then last but not least, oh, let me show you one more thing. Um, as I was checking out, I saw these jewelry pieces at the, ch at, at the register. And these are real um, glass rhinestones. These would make fabulous butterfly wings on a project. I just really like those. They were $1.99. I picked up a couple of these. I thought I had, I got more, but I can't find them in my purse. But why I went to Christmas tree shop is for this. <laughs> They had OPI uh, Shatter on sale for $2.99 or $2.49, and I picked up three. This one is navy, this is black, and this one is, you know, just white Shatter. I don't, they don't have any fancy names. So I definitely use the black. And then as I was standing, oh, and they also had the um, SE. And lots of pastels, but by the time I got there, they only had this one, which is Potato Field. And this was $2.49. And these little uh, trial size Orleys were $1.99 each. And I picked up um, Hype, which I have on my thumb right now. And it matches my Domino Filofax. Isn't that cool? So I picked up the Hype. And you know, I never really have used up an entire bottle of nail polish, a full-size bottle. These are 0.18 ounce, and I think these are 0.45. This one's 0.5, so I think these are 0.5. So they're about a, a third. But you know what? That's fine. For $1.99, you can get lots of different colors. This one is in Grape Glitz. Very um, clear. And this one is Velvet Rope. So I really love this one. and. Just as I was about to go paint my nail, I broke my nail cleaning the chicken coop. So there you go. That's my haul from Christmas tree shops. Oh, one more thing. I need to forget that in the makeup. I picked up three different um, fake eyelashes or faux eyelashes from uh, Nakamichi. And this one has silver streaks. This is a sparsely filled long one, and this one is a fuller long one. So, 
something for me to play with. So there you go. Um, I'll have a separate video on the organizer because I think it'll be. Ooh, I think people want to see exactly what's in it. I was so impressed with the blank pages that I think I might reproduce them so I can print my own. As always, don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will try and help out if I can. If not, I'll try to point you in the direction of who might. And as always, thank you so much for watching.